Hey no freaks, well today um, I was thinking about it and I decided I was going to show you guys exactly how I blended uh, the nail for the Zebra Summer Nail Art tutorial. So this is uh, how we're going to start doing it, so follow with me. So first I'm going to get a pink. This pink is called um, Fuchsia from Apple Barrel. And we're going to place it diagonally. Now we do not want a lot of the product, we do not want to place a lot of excess of the product. You just want a thin coat. So it could dry really fast and it won't cause a mess when blending it together. Now at the moment we're not going to start blending until later. And then I'm going to be taking another pink. This one is called Puddle Skirt Pink by Americana. Again, we do not want excess of the product. As long as the nail is covered with the color you're desired, do not put a lot of excess product. After doing so, you can see that the two colors are not blended at all. And then after that, we're going to add the orange. This one's called Pumpkin Orange by Apple Barrel. I'm just going to take very little of that, and then I'm going to put it in the nail. Just like so, and then I'm going to take orange, I mean yellow, and this orange, I mean this yellow is called Banana by Apple Barrel as well. Very thin coat as well. And you're going to leave it just like so. As you can see, the nail is really, really thin, and there's not any excess of the products. So now what I'm going to do, this is a tricky part for people who are barely learning. I'm going to take on one side of the, um, of the brush, I'm going to take um, some product, some of the product of the fuchsia color that I showed you guys earlier. And then on the other side, I'm going to take some of the puddle skirt pink that I showed you guys earlier as well. And with that said, I'm going to start blending them together. Again, we do not want excess, um, excess uh, paint on our brushes. And then just like so, I'm going to start blending these two beautiful colors together. As you can see, there's really no more harsh lines in them, and if you see any more, um, we can surely go back and uh, blend it again. There you go. And if you see any excess product, just take it off with the brush. Just like so. As you can see, the fuchsia color and the puddle skirt pink, they're pretty much blended together. Next, we're going to blend the puddle skirt pink and, and the orange. Again, on the one side of your nail, um, of your brush, we're going to put some of that pink and then on the other side we're going to put some of the orange. This orange again is called Pumpkin Orange. Puddle skirt and this one. And then making sure that you don't have excess product, you're going to start and blending in your two products. Sometimes you may need to do two coats, sometimes you'll be fine with one coat, 
but for me I always want I always try and do two coats just so that the two colors could get blended in really well and then we're going to go over um, with an orange we're going to take puddle skirt away goodbye and then we're going to get the apple a barrel banana one and the pumpkin orange what I do with what I think it's real easy to do instead of uh, going to the hassle of just you know um, I grab my painting like this and then I just go over with the brush oops I hope you guys can see just like so I just dip it in like that when I have one side of the brush already and then on the other side we, we just need really little amount of yellow and then just like so you're gonna get that product in really well not, not a lot of X's in there and then we're going to grab our orange and yellow and blend them in together and just like so we have all of the products and blended in together um, this is really easy and it looks really beautiful on, any, on anybody's nails they don't have to be short, long, they could be any size and this design is going to look beautiful um, the next step that I actually did was just apply the zebra and to apply the zebra it's really easy you just grab your thin brush and you grab any color you want for example this time we could grab a, a white instead of doing the summer zebra nails exactly I'm just going to grab some of the white of um, uh, folk art and this one's called titanium white and then you just you just go over it you just do the stripes of the zebra just like so So as you can see, doing this blending stuff, it's really easy. All you need to do is just practice, practice, and practice because practice always makes easy. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you have any requests, don't forget to leave them down on the comment section or message me. I will gladly do any. So this is the final result. Um, if you would just like to, you could just leave a... Uh, you could just leave the nail plain with a blending in, or you can uh, do a zebra. You can do any design you want. It's your open imagination. I hope you liked this tutorial, and don't forget to look at the other videos. Thank you very much, and I hope this tutorial was helpful. Bye!